Playwright is an end-to-end -end browser automation and testing tool. In Playwright, tests run in a simple node context, and each test and lifecycle hook passes the Playwright Automation API, making it easy to write and compose tests with a sync await syntax. Running Supabase in local development is a great fit for a good developer experience because we don't have to do any mocking at any level. No backdoors are required to spoof authentication, low latency network requests makes our tests very quick, and a closed system allows us to avoid network flakiness that could cause our tests to show a false flag when all of our code is really fine. To install Playwright, run the command yarn create Playwright and we'll tell it to create our tests in the E2E directory. This will create a playwright.config file. We'll adjust the web server option to give it the command to start our development web server, the port it can find our app on, and instructions to reuse an existing web server if something is already running on the given port. I'm also going to adjust the projects array to just turn on Chrome and mobile Chrome. Next, we'll go to that e e directory that we told the Playwright to create, and I'm going to create a utils.ts file. This file won't actually have any tests in it. Later, we'll create its spec.ts files for that, but it will contain utilities that will want most of our tests to run. This includes starting Supabase and resetting the data in our database. Since we're running in a node context, we can use the node package detect port to check if our Supabase database is running on the port we know it will be on. If the port is occupied, we can return since Supabase is already running. If it's not running, we'll print a warning to the console and then start up Supabase the same way we would in a terminal using the exec sync command from node. Similarly, for receiving the data, we'll call exec sync with the command to Postgres's psql tool to run a SQL script. We'll create that script and give it the command to truncate the auth.users table and we'll make that truncate cascade. This will remove all data from the auth.users table, removing any users that would have signed up via the built-in Supabase authentication system, as well as any other data those users are attached to. Conveniently, all of the tables we'll make in our course are tied to this user's table, so this should give our database a clean slate whenever we call it. Finally, we'll export a function called setup ETE tests that will await for Supabase to start and then reseed the database. We'll use this later in the before eaches of our tests to give us a clean slate on every test. Lastly, if you're using VS Code, I very highly recommend the Playwright VS Code plugin. We can see on screen here, this is all the tests that we'll write in this course. And we can see that it provides timing for them as well as a heads up view of all of our tests and how long each individual test is taking. We can also hit play on any individual test and it will run that test in isolation or you can write it on a section and that's going to run all of the tests in that section.